You know, I've gotten more requests to review this console than you'd think. I mean, first I reviewed that Nintendo V-like console, and then we had the Zone 40, and then we had the Zone 60. So, might as well review everybody in the family. Here's the Zone Mini. So what is this thing? Well, if you've ever seen any of my Zone console reviews, it's pretty much a Wii ripoff with a number of built-in games. This one's the mini one, so it only has 35 built-in games. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to review this. Uh, don't really see why, to be honest with you. It's, probably, it's pretty much the same console, same games. I uh, think some of them are slightly different. But uh, the idea of this is that it's a Zone console in a very portable size, begging the question of why bother. But... That's what it is anyway. There's a list of games all on the back there. 35 built-in games as the game hits the tripod the camera's sitting on. Uh, comes with AV cable and power adapter. And a carrying case to supplement the whole portability aspect of it. Well, let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Yeah, I already cut it open. Haven't played it yet, though. So, here's the console. It's quite literally a small block. Whoop, almost dropped it. It is light, though. I don't have any batteries in it right now, uh, because I actually ran out of AAAs, and the remote needs AAAs, so obviously the remote's going to get priorities. For this, I'll just use the power adapter. But, wow, really light, and I don't understand the, the floral design on it or whatever. But, okay, whatever. Remote control, you've seen it before, it's the same with all the consoles. Turbo A, Turbo B, A, B, yeah. Where the motion, the motion control is actually just... Uh, the remote sending out A button signals whenever you swing the remote and as long as one of these infrared ports is wirelessly making contact with the console, the console will recognize it. So any of the uh, motion control games, you can actually play them by just hitting the A button. You don't have to actually swing anything. And it can get annoying in game because uh, sometimes you'll be, you know, naturally moving the controller and it counts as a A button press and it gets annoying going through menus and stuff. What else we get with it? Got the power adapter for the console. At least I included that. Give them a point for that. They'll lose the rest of it by the end of the review, trust me. AV cable. Um, hmm, it's actually a 2.5 millimeter jack, so if anything uh, that I could get out of this, it'd be the AV cable, because these with that small jack are actually kind of hard to find. Maybe I'll use that for my camcorder. And the bag, which is... Yes, I did just smell it. It's just a canvas bag. Um, wait a minute. How do you open it? What is it, like, st stuck or something? Oh, oh, I get it. There's three separate compartments. Okay, it's not one big bag. Pointless. Anything else in here? Nope, that's a sheet of paper. So here's the instructions. Um, you know, it's in good English. You're not going to find any bad English translations here because, uh, you know, you can find these all over like CVS and stuff. So this isn't like a DealExtreme.com exclusive or something like that. Um, yeah, instructions for all the games. All the games, I think, at least the sport ones. There's a lot of sport ones that are on here, actually. Um, wow, it has instructions for all the games, including the non-motion control games. Oh, well, might as well... Uh, Look it up to the TV and see how well it works. Okay, well this is what you see when you first turn it on. Uh, my first thought is it looks like they hired somebody to totally redesign the menu. Uh, looks like anything other than I've ever seen in a zone console. Also the menu music is just weird. Listen. Yeah, it's just weird. Um, also, the way the names of the games are cut off on the edge of the screen, that isn't my camera or your computer or my TV. It's literally cut off like that unless you scroll down to select it, which is kind of awkward. Um, let's just take a quick look at what's on here. Honestly, I'm kind of psyched that there's only 35 on here. That's that many less that I have to look at. Let's see here. Yeah, a few arcade games. Mouse and Cat, remember that one? Uh, I recognize some of these. Dance Master, that one's familiar. Simon, that kind of looks like Bomberman. B Eliminator, I remember that. Alright, let's see here. Uh, let's try the ones we haven't seen before. How's uh, Super Fighter? 
Ooh, fire. Okay, I'll pick my character. Sure. Go. Wow, noxious. Let me turn down the sound a little bit. When I press buttons on my remote control for my TV, sometimes the zone 35 responds. It's a button masher. Graphics are okay. They're just nasty, jagged sprites. Not bad, considering the price I paid for this thing. Controls don't feel too stiff. Eh, overall, it's decent. I never was a fan of fighting games, I just didn't like the random button mashing. Curling, boy, they're really reaching for sports games here. Uh, start. No, start. What are you doing? Curling. Start. No! Stop that. A? Oh! I was hitting select. They reversed select and start. Man, that's loud. Yeah, I thought the volume button was... Oh, it thinks I hit reset. Darn TV remote. That's kind of annoying. Oh, what are you doing? You mean I can't skip this? Let me skip this. Curling. Please let me just start. Thank you. Player select, they all look the same. Oh, I see. A. B? There's that stolen Sonic the Hedgehog sound effect. This thing keeps getting louder. Jeez, I have to keep turning it down. B versus R. My next opponent is Q. Okay, let's just start. I just noticed A and B are backwards. Is it like that on the other zone consoles? Please just let me start. First set. Okay. Move. Obviously I want to hit in the center. Now for the power. How do I throw? Please press the button down, set power. There we go. Do I press... Oh, I keep pressing A. This has nothing to do with motion control. Just keep hitting A. Or better yet, do the turbo A button. Eh, not bad for my very first throw ever. Alright, that's enough of that. It's curling. But I don't see the point of it being on a game that's centered around motion control. Uh, speaking of games, I don't understand why they have to be on a motion control video game. Beach Volleyball. Oh my god, will you stop doing that? Start. Thank you. Beach Volleyball! Stolen sound effect. Sure, it's too easy. Oh, I'm supposed to be holding it vertically. That would help. Um, sure. What, guys don't play beach volleyball ever? Alright, how do I do this? A? B? Something? Oh, I have to set my power. Boy, they love that trend. There's no motion control. I'm just using the control pad to set the power. Um, I don't understand how I'm hitting it back. Honestly, it's hard to even tell what side it's on. There's no, like, depth perception in this game at all. 
control pad, A. What's the point? You might as well be playing with zero motion controls. Just use D-pad and buttons. That's what I'm already doing. Reset. What else? Uh, badminton. Okay. Oh, excuse me. It's happy badminton. I apologize. Boy, they're really going for different games, huh? Now, this game's really quiet. Okay. Again, you could just press A, so... It looks like if you just keep repeatedly pressing A, you're fine. So, forget doing the motion controls and, you know, wearing yourself out. Just hold down the Turbo A button, and... It kind of looks like you'll win every time. I mean, the character follows the, bad, the birdie automatically, so... Wow. Turbo A and win. No thank you. What else? Oh, I did happen to notice that this game, do this uh, console doesn't come with a second remote. Uh, so maybe you can't do two players at all? Extreme Ping Pong Cup with the extreme music! Da -da -da -da, it's Ping Pong Extreme. Zero, zero. Service, player two. Yeah, again, just hit A or move the remote to swing it back, and it looks like you could turbo it, and you'll be just fine. But miss! I had turbo held down. I call shenanigans. Reset. What else we got? Bowling. Not gonna bother. Bowling. Tennis. Not gonna bother. Basketball. I'm sure it's like the Zone 60. Darts. No thanks. Fencing champ. It's exactly like the one in the Zone 60. Swimming. Exactly the same. Baseball's exactly the same. Soccer shooter, why not? Can I start, please? Thank you. You kick! Alright, thank you. Oh, adjust the power. Oh, no, that was the angle. This is the power. There's no motion control involved. Time the A button presses to select what you want. There's no point in the motion controls. Reset. Ugh, do you have to take me back to the beginning every time? Oh, wait, I forgot to hit select. There we go. That helps a bit. Golf Pro, who cares? Javelin, I bet it you'd throw it with the A button. Bunch of different uh, track events. Archery, let's try that. I told you I wasn't going to go into too much detail with this, so... Sorry. This... Wasn't this on the Zone 60? This seems kind of familiar. I think it's randomly deciding the wind now. Oh, there we go. Oh. What did I do? Um, I think so far this is the best example of motion control not necessary. Hmm. I'm not accounting for the win because I don't care. Oh, I think I got bullseye at least. Such peaceful music. Reset. What else? What else? Discus. Racing. I'm curious to see how the racing does it. Do you hold the controller sideways, or what? I want to think that's stolen from something. Alright, yeah, you hold the controller sideways. I was going to say, I hope they don't do motion controls with this. What are you going to do, swing the remote to accelerate? Although, you accelerate with the A button, so... Technically, if you wanted to, you could. Yeah, it's racing. And you have fuel. Like that NES game or arcade game I can't think of the name of. Yep. Reset. Go down. Uh, motorcycle Ninja. Kind of reminds me of that game BMX Ninja that Dr. Ashen reviewed. Except you're actually racing and... You use the same exact startup noise as the racing game. So, um. This has what to do with ninjas? 
Um, I mean, if ninjas went around driving motorcycles, I guess it'd be pretty cool, but... What? I just passed a truck? Uh, truck, this road is as wide as you, so... Move over. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to play that because it had the word ninja in the name. Oop, go back one. Oops. Well, might as well play it. I accidentally hit start on it. Smart Porter. Oh, uh, this is a... This is a clone of... Move crap around. Whatever... Whatever the original of this was called. Yeah. Clone of that. Select, select, select. Mouse and Cat. That's from the Zone 60 video. It's a Pac-Man clone. Cubes. Oh, that's a quite obvious Tetris clone. Sudoku. Um... Sudoku. They spelled it wrong. At least on the menu. Smart Porter. Scuba Brick. That's the Arkanoid clone. Dance Master. God, no. If you want to see the majority of these, just go to my Zone 60 review. These these games do not even deserve being looked at a second time. Let's see this here. Whoa, look at him go off the jump. Oh, no, he's falling on me. Jeez, that's a little dangerous. Boy, they were really proud of that song. They kept using it. At least in all the racing games. You take the racing game, you make it a first-person view, and it looks like that's the recipe for this game. Wait a minute. You're looking through the windshield, but the camera's also behind the car? That's kind of trippy. Uh, what perspective would you call this? A uh, fifth person's perspective? I have no idea. I'm viewing myself through myself. Oh man, that's deep. Alright, reset. Select, 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 select. Simon. This looks like Bomberman. And I think this was on the Zone 60. Uh, if I'm right, wasn't this actually called Bomberman on the Zone 60? Yeah, it, it actually looks like this is the exact same game, but they've renamed it to Simon. Um, was Hudson Soft on their asses? What? How come the game's resetting when I am hitting the control pad? Start. And select just took me out. <laughs> Whatever. It wasn't worth the time anyway. Could not figure out how to start that one. B Eliminator. Remember that one from the Zone 60 review? It's Galaga, but with bees in a sunflower field. Chess. Do we really need to look at chess? Snakes. It's snake. Catch 22. I guess don't catch 21 or you're a loser. Okay. Huh. This has the earliest copyright date so far, 2006. I'm just looking at the ones that don't seem familiar to me at all. Um, oh, this is like the, the original Famicom or NES game with the tanks. I don't remember the name. Um, yeah, it's pretty much a clone of that. I don't understand the Catch-22 name, though. Oh, good, we're almost done. Firefighter. Oh, this is the game where you bounce people off of trampolines and knock them at the fire to put out the fire, I think. I'll play it again, only because this game is quite funny. Firefighter! Course one. So, let's see here. Bouncing around, collecting the people. Yes, I am quite literally putting out the fire by crashing into it with my body. I'm also picking up trapped people on the way. But, um, yeah. So this is how firefighters do it. Uh, so if there's any kids watching this and they're thinking about becoming a firefighter when you grow up, just watch me play this video game. This will give you an idea of um, what your day-to-day -day job is going to be like. You will kamikaze yourself into the flames. Yep. Reset. Let's see, what was the last game? Pop Balloon. Let's see here. I think that's my catchphrase. Let's see here. Um, Tiny Toons logo. Hmm. Using the same title theme. Okay. They didn't bother to give this one a unique song. 
You move left and right with the control pad and shoot the falling balloons. Yeah. Shoot, 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 shoot. And I have no idea what that falling, blinking lightning bolt does. I'm assuming the clock gives me more time. You know what? Who cares? I'm done reviewing this. This We're done taking a look at this. So, what's the final verdict? Why? Why bother with this console? I mean, obviously, this is going back to what I said in my Zone 60 review. Obviously, the company must be making money. I mean, they keep making different iterations of these. First was the 40, and then, who knows, maybe the 60 and the Mini came out around the same time, for all I know. But there's no point in this existing. I mean, there's no point in the other two existing, first of all, unless you really don't want to buy Nintendo Wii. But what's the point now? Now that the Nintendo Wii has dropped so far down in price, I think it's down to 150 bucks now, and you get a free copy of Mario Kart Wii. Uh, so, the fact that the Zone 60 can cost as much as $60, I don't see the point in buying any Zone console, even though this one was only 10 bucks on eBay. Um, and what's the point of making a portable one? I mean, it's not like the other ones weren't small enough where you could carry them around a plastic bag or something. I mean, why you wouldn't why you'd want to carry them anywhere else but the garbage can is beyond me. But it's not even worth it for a cheap Wii experience since the Wii is so cheap now and the fact that this one doesn't even come with two controllers so you can't even have a friend suffer with you. You have to suffer all by yourself. Just for the, I'm, I'm done with the zone consoles. I want nothing more to do with these. So there's a review and hopefully I never touch another one of these things again.